Hello viewers, welcome to the part one of the video. Well, as the description says, this video is going to be on the history of clinical trial and will be explained by your host, the trial buddy. Well, when you hear about the clinical trials, have you ever thought when was the first clinical trial performed? Have you ever thought who is called the father of clinical trial? Which day do we celebrate as the International Clinical Trial Day and why? Well, to know all the answers of the previous questions, please watch the video till end. So without doing any further delay, let's just jump straight into the topic. Well, the history of clinical trial is very interesting and why I'm saying this is because the clinical trial which we know today was performed for the first time in history in 605 BC. Yes, I'm right. We can get the reference of the trial in the book of Daniel. Though the clinical trial was not performed by any doctor or any physician that time, but was performed by a king with the name Nebuchadnezzar. He was the king of Babylon. And because that time there were no rules, no guidelines used to conduct any trial, this trial was a very good start in the clinical trial era. King Nebuchadnezzar was a military leader and he wanted his soldiers to be healthy for the war. So that time he ordered his people to eat only meat and drink wine as a diet. He believed that this diet will help the soldier to keep them in a good sound physical condition. But at that time, many of the soldiers were vegetarian. So they objected this order of the king. Well, Nebuchadnezzar was a very wise person. So without being harsh on his soldiers, he gave order to the soldiers that the vegetarian soldiers can take legumes and water for 10 days. Now with that, he came to a conclusion that the soldiers who were taking vegetarian diet were more healthy and strong than the soldiers who were taking meat and wine. So he ordered his soldiers to take legumes and water as a diet. So this was the information about the very first clinical trial in the history. Now let us know who is called the father of clinical trial. Well, the father of clinical trial is Dr. James Lind. Why we say the, him the father? Because in 1747, he conducted an experiment which was known as James Lind's curvy experiment. Well, this experiment was very first control experiment of the modern era, wherein he took 12 sailors and divided them into six groups. Each group contained two sailor with the same problem in them. With their normal food, he gave some extra food for a day or for twice a day or for thrice a day to eat to the groups. To the first group, he gave apple cider vinegar once a day. To the second group, he gave elixir vitrol thrice a day. To the third group, he gave seawater. To the fourth group, he gave some spicy paste. To the fifth group, he gave lemon and orange to eat. To the sixth group, he gave barley and water to eat. In these groups, the fifth group, which was given lemon and orange, showed a remarkable change in recovery in the health, while the first group, which was given shitter, showed a slow improvement, and other four groups did not show any change. All this he noted in his book, this was the very first controlled clinical trial, but Dr. James Lynn did not publish his data because he thought it was insufficient data to prove his point. Well, the treaty of scurvy experiment was published in 1753. With this, we come to our next question. When do we celebrate the cl International Clinical Trial Day? And why do we do it? Well, the International Clinical Trial Day is celebrated on 20th May every year. Well, why do we celebrate it on 20th May? Is because Dr. James Lind wrote about his experiment in the book on 20th May 1747 only. With this, I will end this video and will like to ask you all to wait for part two of the video where I will be explaining that with time, what experiment were performed and how the clinical trial evolved. If you like the information, please give a like to the video. And if you want to hear from me, please subscribe the channel and turn the all bell notification icon so that you can get information when I upload the video. Thank you for watching the video.